What is happening, y'all? Welcome. I'm back to more Guardians. The adventure continues with us heading yes. on off to a new planet. Invest in all special abilities for all companions. So we must have Groot's Noble ability Lady now. shall fight alongside us this day. After we bested Foom, Foom the Invincible. We found Drax's peanut butter and chocolate. We are on the path to destiny, my friends. I still can't believe we did it. We did do it, right? We sure did, and we got Mantis back. <sighs> but we lost Warlock, and we'll need him to exercise the Magus once we shut down that ritual. So we bust him out of cult prison. I've done jailbreaks before, we all have. <laughs> we still tracking him? <laughs> oh yeah, that thing ain't coming out easy. Good. Then all we gotta do is get there on time and hope Lady Hellbender does too. Oh, she will. I'm certain of it. All right. Let's gear up, people. Tie up any loose ends. Take a pee if you have to, because we're not stopping again. <coughs> hey, Quill. Let me borrow your tools. Why? I need the focus. Come on. Do not drop that. I mean, it's like, how many cassette players are still working? Maybe that many. What happened on Lamantis after we left? Last time we saw you, things looked dire. It's a long story. We can talk about it after you do like Star Guy says and use the bathroom. I don't need to. All right, but don't say I didn't warn you when church grandpa makes you do faith crunches. Wait, Raker's gonna do what? It depends. But at some point, someone says my name, and then there's a little bit of pee. Great. I did not want to know that. <laughs> oh, yeah, little fuzzy. Maybe the little bit of pee is you. Nope. Uh. Thanks. So, uh, Bug Girl, how come you can understand Groot so well? I see you have just. Uh, yeah. I guess I couldn't help myself. I mean, it's a rap sheet. I suppose that it is impressive to criminals. Reformed criminals, as in past tense, we're legit now, remember? I do not think we share the same definition of legitimate. Okay, fair, maybe not, but still. Guy who kills Thanos ends up in the most infamous prison in the galaxy? It's gotta be one hell of a story. Which part would you like to hear, Peter Quill? How I allegedly killed the Mad Titan, or are you enamored by my stay in the kiln? Thanos! Obviously. I mean, it's the Mad Titan. He was supposed to be untouchable, and then BAM! Player two is joined. Just, how'd you do it? How'd you take Thanos down? With sorcery. <laughs> Come on, really? Really, after Thanos murdered my family, rage filled my heart. In my search for revenge, I found Mentor. You mean a Mentor, right? No. Mentor is his name. And his brother Cronus. Sorcerers. They gave me a sleeping potion that would grant my greatest desire. Finding and killing Thanos. <laughs> You're messing with me. I am not. I awoke. I was changed. I could sense the Mad Titan's vile life force. Feel it pulsating from across the galaxy. Uh... Wow, that's a... I know how it sounds, Peter Quill. And I believe that you believe this happened. It's just... It's pretty out there. Even for space stuff. Regardless. I followed the pulse in my mind until it led me to a moon in the Black Quadrant. From there, I found Thanos, hiding like a coward. Our battle waged for days, each of us trading blows across the moon's inhospitable surface, equal in strength, equal in our resolve to see the other dead once and for all. And then you... delivered the final blow. I recall throwing a final swing before I collapsed from exhaustion. But when I awoke, I was in a hospital on Elanis. Many rotations had passed, and I was being hailed as a hero. 
for killing Thanos. Allegedly. The very fibers of my being say otherwise. I can still feel him out there. I have no doubt in my heart that he survived, just as I did. What was it like, in the kiln? You would not have survived the cycle. Why? I... maybe... know someone there. Then pray they died quickly. Yikes. It's really that bad? Worse. However... After the chaos I wrought in my misguided quest for revenge, it was a well-deserved punishment. Right. The Rampage. That is one way to describe it. After my battle with Thanos, I became convinced that he still drew breath. I demanded proof, but when none was provided, I convinced myself that others were concealing his location. I saw his hideous visage in every shadow, and murdered anyone I thought was hiding him. Some of which were very bad dudes. Perhaps. It is not my place to judge. So... How'd they stop you? Novacor, I mean. You're Drax, the Destroyer. There's not a bounty hunter alive who could have taken you down. I surrendered. What? Why? I had succumbed to madness, and become the very thing that I hoped to vanquish. Once I realized that, I could not live with the monster that I had become. Well, the important thing is that you're here now, with us. Man, we're not going back to prison anytime soon. That remains to be seen. Now that's a knife. It <laughs> is indeed a spectacular blade. Drax! Hey, I was just... There is no need to explain yourself, Peter Quill. Unlike the rodent, I do not mind when others are curious about my things. It's a really cool blade. With an equally impressive history. You recognize it? It belonged to Zatar the Unfinished, a great Katathian warrior king who led the first pilgrimage to Maklu 4. Wait. So you're saying this is basically Excalibur? I am unfamiliar with such a weapon. It's a mythical sword belonging to a famous Earth King. Then yes. I suppose you could say this is the Excalibur of my people. It is a symbol of a king and the great hunt he inspired for those seeking to regain a place in Ultaf. Zatar sounds like a hero of yours. King Zatar. And he is. Every Katathian warrior knows the story of his pilgrimage to Maklu 4. Why is he called Zatar the Unfinished then? In the history of my people. A rival king attacked Zatar's lands, easily overwhelming his forces. Captured and broken, Zatar challenged the rival king to a fight to the death, but the conqueror refused, banishing him to a life of dishonor and disgrace instead. So King Zatar went to Maklu 4 to challenge the mighty Fin Fang Foom and change his destiny. Well, that's depressing. How is it depressing? Because he obviously failed. Fin Fang Foom's still alive and kicking, mostly. He did not fail, Peter Quill. King Zatar did not vanquish Fin Fang Foom, it is true. But he did redeem himself in the eyes of his people. By dying? Not exactly a happy ending. By never giving up. A warrior only truly dies when he stops living. King Zatar proved that our stories, the records of who we were in life, are ours to shape. He could have died a coward who lost his place in Ultath, or he could do what I and many of my people believe he did, change the ending of his story. Actually, before you go any farther, there's something I gotta do. Certainly. A lot of lore. What is it? Your angle of attack was off. You have to go at it from the inside out, especially since Raker's body armor has inward folds. Ah, a tactically sound observation. I noticed it made a big difference when I had to assassinate a congregation of Badoon dignitaries. Mantis! I've got so many questions. I know, and I've got so many answers. Like, 
Seize the means of production. Or it's not just a rash. Or yes, it is gluten free. Uh, not the answers I was looking for, but now I'm wondering about the questions. What questions? How did you convince Lady Hellbender to meet us on MacLu 4? You weren't even with us when we decided to go. Actually, convincing her to go after you wasn't hard at all. But convincing her to hear you out? Woo! That was tough. I had to get all creepy mystical and spook her with warnings about what would happen otherwise. You told her about the end of the universe. And she believed you? Oh, no. Not at first. But when I brought up all her precious monsters dying, she came around. Couldn't take that chance with her babies, you know? What happened on Lamentis after we left? You said some people would survive, but that doesn't fare super well for the others. Many of the elders died. They didn't resist the invasion, but they would never accept the promise. It isn't their way. I'm sorry. Don't be. Their sacrifice bought time for me and the Kotati to hide most of the others. They will emerge when the galaxy is saved. So you were able to hide them in the caves? Hope you told them to stay away from the fog. Well, I'm glad to have you with us. Oh, good, because you're not always glad. Why not? Well, sometimes I'm your ex-wife. What? <laughs> I think she's pulling your leg, Quill. It only ever happens the one time, but it's so funny. You're overwatering, Sir Groot. I am Groot. Yeah, leave him alone. Here goes nothing. Ah, no, scratch that. Here go the Guardians of the Galaxy. I'm gonna barf. That's a big and fleet. we're back. Deja vu. Is it just me or that fleet looks twice as big now? Wrong. It's at least thrice as big. That's the biggest I've ever seen it. What now? Kill the lights, kill the engines, and wait for Lady Hellbender to show up. We're sure she's coming, right? She is a woman of honor, a queen. She promised to gather her forces. And how long is that gonna take? Too long? No. We can't be too late. We gotta save the galaxy and Nikki. One way or another, we need to get in there and shut down that ritual. We can't take on a fleet that big. Little Fuzzy! Rocket, what are you doing, man? We need to get into Sacrosanct to disrupt the ritual, right? We all know we get killed out here. So, I'm gonna make a really loud distraction. My tunes! Yeah, I rigged it to blast your scuddy music across all channels while the church is out looking for the source. We cut the engines and we flow silently right past them to board the sacrosanct. Smart! Seriously? Fine. But we're getting it back as soon as we win. Now get back in here! Find a place to park. Look at those boys. Or deception is working. Don't sound so surprised. We are so gonna get my music back once this is all done. Sorry, Quill. Chances are they're gonna blast it to pieces once they pin it down. Let's make sure the sacrifice counts. Can we not call it that? I wonder what music would have been playing if you, uh, if you don't have streamer mode on, like, is everyone jamming out to, like, take on me? But they can't. 
Certainly if they could hear us. Where am I supposed to go exactly? I feel like I'm just floating. What? <gasps> Orgoth's breath! Whoa! Yes! Lady Hellbender has arrived! Guardians of the galaxy, stop hiding! The monster lords of Seknoth 9 hunger for battle! We're not hiding. We are sneaking. Because we need to get into Sacrosanct alive. Well, she can certainly breathe then in space. We we'll slaughter as many as we can out here while you fight your way in. Eat, my children! Crack open their shells and feast upon the sweet meats inside! <laughs> <laughs> this is so metal. All right, people, let's take advantage of the nice lady murdering spree. We're busting into Sacrosanct. That landing base her way in, but there's still a lot of or, pain or I'll die. here and there. <laughs> or I'll just die. All right, people, let's take advantage of the nice lady murdering spree. We're busting into Sacrosanct. That landing base her way in. But there's still a lot of pain between here and there. Maybe we can blow past them. Risky. Boom! Ha! That one's toast. He's got a piece of that guy. Taking fire. Direct hit. Now this is a proper dogfight. That's a hit. Gotcha! Crap, that's a lot of turrets. Kill him or dodge him. We gotta get through there. My blades are useless out here, Peter Quill! That's what you get for bringing a knife to a space fight! Try not to get shot, Quill. Flying, this sucks! And we're in! What's up with our new spacesuits? Mantis, you sure you can fly her? Yes! Sometimes! Hang on, maybe you should. Two arms! The enemy approaches! Gift of the Flora. Oh, that's cool! But what is going on with these outfits? They're kind of tacky. Old Lord. Mission new matching uniforms, so I put him in charge of his made some shady deals. Huh. Final assault on the church! 
I like these outfits. They look Which is why we need to goofy. Yeah, they call in the tree police. At least they brought the elevator for us. Show us some muscle. I'm with you, bud. Let's squash this guy. Look, look, look. Careful, please. Like Star Lord in particular, it's just I don't know. It's not Star Lord. He looks like I don't know. It's just like generic space cop man. I don't like them. I don't, I don't like the... I, I get it. I know what they're going for. But this is my Star-Lord. Oh my god, I'm trying to get it over there. And I can't. Yeah, like seeing Draxaw covered is... Weird. Rich just has a little little gold strap, that's it. Get in here. I would love to see the terror on our enemies' faces. How can we be certain they have not found a way to convert the world? It would explain why they took him prisoner instead of just killing him. And there's a lot of faith Scott beaming into this place. He almost kicked our butts when he was all sad and mopey. Warlock hates Magus. He already evicted the thing once. Maybe they made up. You booted me and Groot, but here we are. I did not. You left. My point stands. No. If Magus had turned Warlock, he would have been here to read us. Just no spinning! Why is she spinning? Don't worry about my flying! Just worry about your shooting! Don't meet you people soon! I'm already here, Mantis! Oh, say hi for me! Celestial Madonna sent you. Came from. Let's hope Mantis and Lady Hellbender keep most of them busy outside. Doors flarked. Scut. We need to go that way. See if you can overload it. Are they still mad at us? Okay, okay. Sorry we left such a mess last time we were here. No, we ain't. <laughs> Let loose, Rocket! Lock and load, Rocket! At least Mantis has a trash in Milano. Yeah, 
I smell it too. Some kind of culty funk. The tree has no nose. Oh, good. Here comes the cleaning crew. The back that way, boy. Do not believe these people are janitors. Throw that, Drax! I don't know why it's like looping so many little dialogue bits. Pretty hard. You mean it throws? Yeah, that too. Uh -huh. Given that we're past the turbines and we got an autosave, let's wrap things up here. We still gotta fight our way into the, uh, you know, deep into the planet. So, anyway, stay tuned. More will be coming your way soon enough, and I'll catch y'all then.